Good morning, uh, good morning, and good morning to each and every one of you, and welcome to Gun Hill. Now, we're not at the actual signal station, but we're going to be going up the line in a few minutes' time. I want to wish you a beautiful good morning from Barbados, and tell you that we're ready for some action. Had a lot of action railways overnight, and we have some pending clouds coming in for sure. I've seen a burst just off of the East Island, so hopefully we'll get through this before that decides to come in on us. Anyhow, welcome to Barbados. Welcome to another beautiful day on the rock. All right, today we're going to be taking in lots of, lots of lovely spots. When I say lots of lovely spots, nature at its best again. Um, I know we have a road through here, but as you can hear the birds and the western frogs, everything is going crazy down here this morning. Just beautiful. I was here just after about, say, 5.25 or so, and out here was just quiet, quiet, quiet. No birds, just western frogs. The choir was definitely out in full tune. So, you know, we're going to make our way up before this rain decides to hold us again this morning. Well, actually, you know, we got off really good for the last two days. Anyhow, um, Gun Hill Signal Station originally was used as a means of communication. It was actually one of the main forts on the island or garrisons on the island. It was used um, as a signal relay from Needham's Point to here. And then that went off to different areas in Moncrief and St. John. I think it's um, known as Bowling Alley area. And then also it used to go right over to the... Grenade Hall, Welsh Hall, down into Spike Stone. They'd use light or mirror signals, depending on whether it was day or night. Um, these steps here, this has become a major tourist attraction. And over the years, um, they have done a better, better work on these steps, as you can see, going up. I counted 31 to the bottom before you go up to the lion. Um, but some of you may count it and tell me you're 30, but whatever. I don't mind is I counted 31 just to give you an idea of how difficult it may be to get up here for some of you. So those that are challenged, we walk in and stuff. Let us do this for you this morning. It's lovely up here. Now this land, a little bit about it. You know, I'm not a historian, but I'd like to give a little bit of information. Land was carved in uh, 1868, and it was carved by uh, Captain Henry Wilkinson, along with four of his colleagues. Uh, they actually carved this from a single piece of coral stone. Beautiful. Now what this land represents is the land was the dominance of the British Empire. Basically the land was the British Empire and the red glow below shows the British Empire had the dominance over the world. The red uh, globe represents the world. So I'll just uh, let you see here for those Latin lovers and people that want to get information off of this. You can always pause it and come back to it. But there's where it mentions about uh, Captain Wilkinson and then his four colleagues who were actually military laborers. So I'm not too sure what the affiliation was, but I know they decided to carry this here and it's just beautiful. Been up here quite a few times and many, many people are visiting the island. And also just to chill out. We did a live video from up here a while back. Um, we were in the vertical mode, not the horizontal mode, so we can have a look at it. But the scenery today, very dark. Um, but besides the darkness, look at the lushness, every color of green you can imagine. This is most definitely the best I have seen the island that I can recall. I don't know, I mean, it, it's hard to gauge, you know, when it's beautiful, it's beautiful, but this is most definitely the, the, definitely the greenest and the most lush I've seen it. You can see those clouds that are coming in from the south and the east. Uh, it's a very, very heavy burst of convection I saw just to the east of the island a little while ago and I scanned it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Now from up here, we can actually look around. It, we can see into parts of St. Philip, not very clearly, and then it comes around into the Christchurch area, St. George, Christchurch area, and St. Michael. So you're seeing basically most of the southern, and yeah, southern side and a little bit of the southwestern side of the island. Just beautiful. All right, I'm gonna climb these steps up to the land itself, because from up here, we can see the signal station from a distance, but we should be able to see it last time it was up here, unless it's, so oh yeah, it's quite a bit of growth since it was here last time for sure. You can see it just in front of the mouth of the lion. Now, years ago, I remember people used to throw coins in here uh, into the mouth as a wishing well. But I don't really know if there's anything inside there anymore or if they've been cleaned out. But I remember that was done at one time. And as you can see, they have a beautiful bench as well up here. Just a lovely place to come and sit and reflect and look over the valley and stuff. Remember, up here will be a little hot in the afternoon time. So I would more focus it like around um, morning or evening. You know, in the mid-morning maybe before the sun actually comes overhead and then the evening. But the views from up here are spectacular. 
I know we were talking about possibly going to the beach this morning, but I thought, well, as the rain had not actually started to fall, what I would do is I would bring you to somewhere else that we could enjoy a little bit more. I'm going to work myself just around the line itself. There we go. Just get the view from behind here because it's, I can actually get up on the side of it here. I'll take any view for you. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. As I said, the luscious I have ever recalled it. Look at every color of green there, every depth of green. I mean, there's, there's really no brown anywhere whatsoever, except for anywhere they're clearing for foundation, which you can see in the distance there. But otherwise that, it's just stunning. Beautiful, beautiful conditions in the island right now. I mean, look at this, this crop in this ground below here. <laughs> I mean, that is as good as it gets, without a doubt. So I think that, you know, although we went through a lot of problems with the ash, and unfortunately our neighbors down in St. Vincent suffer terribly with the ash, um, you know, out of all bad comes good sometimes, and this is one of those situations. We actually can't see the harbor from here because of this tree that's just sprouted above everything else, but you can see just to the right of that tree, you will see the cranes that are associated with the harbor. So I'll give you an, an indication of where it is, and then if you come around the coastline, you see the Barbados Hilton, and then it fades off. But as you can see, many, many showers in the distance. We've had a lot, a lot of rain here over the last um, 24, maybe, maybe 36 hours or so. Although it hasn't been continuous, when it has come, it's come a bucket of drop. And it's been coming really heavy and then it goes off into sunshine and then really heavy again. But today is looking like a more intense day. So <laughs> I'm glad we're getting in this before it starts to go crazy. Beautiful, beautiful Barbados. It's not going to be a very long video today because we're not going to be taking a big tour anywhere. But I will show you again um, up in the distance. You can see up in the ridge. A little difficult for me to turn this camera at the perched onto this here. Let me get down so I can do so. We sort of like lose it a little bit though because of the, the bush and stuff up there and the growth in the hills. But you can see the signal station up in the distance. Um, I have asked um, the National Trust to do a video from up there but they're not fully opened up there yet. I'm pretty sure we'll get it okay on that there as soon as things are open back up or they're fully functional. But right now we're just going to hold it as uh, maybe. We'll see how it goes from here. Just splendid views. I mean, when you think of coming up here, uh, finding a carved lion in a hill, I know a lot of you who come to Barbados know about this here, and I guess some of you who read up on Barbados before you come would also be aware of this. But when you come here and find this, it actually does blow your mind for the first time. Um, you know, I, when I brought my angel up here, well, she was taken back completely by it, you know, completely. And everybody have, have, I actually have brought here, even though I've seen it on a hill going up, when they come up here and stand with this, there's a feeling you get from up here understanding of what it's all about. Just a beautiful, beautiful day. As right, I said, we're not going to have a very long one today, so I would like to just uh, express to you all how much I appreciate everything that you all have been doing for me and gathering me every morning, giving me the encouragement and, you know, pushing me on to do and see other things which I am thoroughly enjoying myself. As I've always told you all or I've been telling you all that I haven't really had the experience of a lot of these places for 25, 30 years. So coming back out here has let me sort of like rekindle my flame for Barbados and the amazing country that I live in and the place that I call home, I even call heaven, and many you call paradise. But it's just beautiful out here. As you can hear, the island really hasn't fully come awake yet. Um, those who would not have to leave home today would probably stay on the covers. You know us Bajans, we don't like to get wet too often. And any, any chance we get to stay on the covers, well, we will do that. Majority of us, anyhow. Just beautiful. All right, this is, as I said, in the parish of St. George. And one more time, we're overlooking the parishes of St. Michael, Christ Church, um, St. George, of course, and parts of St. Philip. And, you know, greetings to you all from Barbados. And thanks again for joining me this morning. It's not me, um, you know, the usual 30-minute uh, tour because I just want to bring you here and let you see what it looks like. You know the conditions this morning were telling me I might have to go look somewhere for shelter but I was able to come out and uh, as I told you all as soon as the war wagon hit the road and I saw the skies I would make the um, determination of where we would go from that point um, which we have done. Now I would definitely encourage you to take a visit to the Gun Hill Signal Station because the view from up there is is incredible. We are, we are really only seeing half of what they would be seeing up there because they will be able to see right over these trees just uh, our left and they'll be able to look right up into the parish of St. Philip, right around the parish of St. Philip, and a much better elevation from where we are. But you can see in some of the fields and hills from here, 
I will um, step up a little bit. You will see all of the water, especially over the St. George Secondary School. I'm not sure of the new name of it, but that's what was the St. George Secondary School, which is directly in the center of the screen. Just behind that, you will see all of the water log fields out there, a big, big pond that's developed. And that's how it is pretty much all over the island. So uh, this week going forward, we're going to have to monitor the weather and see what we can do or what we cannot do. But we will surely meet a daybreak together. Um, as long as I am given life and as long as you all are given life, we shall meet and gather again. Until then, I, I'm wishing you all the best of love and peace. I'm sending all that I can send from Barbados to keep you positive and remind you that this place is waiting on you. And don't rush. When it is the right time, it will be the right time. You know, you, you will know when it's the right time. You will know when you feel safe to come to Barbados. You know you can afford to come to Barbados. And you're going to come to Barbados, hopefully, when you can. Because this place is magnificent. And I really don't want to have this by myself. So I would like as many of you to come here as possible and share this with me. I see we have the Island Girl back on this morning. That is wonderful, wonderful news. You were being missed by everyone. I'm sure you're being welcomed back by everyone. Anyway, everybody, have a great day. Stay peaceful. Share love, share care, and share your smiles. As I always say, even when you have on a mask, you can tell when somebody's smiling. It's just the lines that develop around the eyes and the glow that's in the eyes because it comes from your spirit, which comes from your soul. So you all have a fantastic day, everyone. One love, enough respect. See you all later. This is the beauty of Barbados through my eyes, and I'm the Beijing warrior. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Folks, I, if you're still here, sorry. I, I can't remember if I did the serenity prayer. I did do the serenity prayer with myself earlier on this morning up here. So I can't remember if I done it down with the truck, to be honest with you. And if we have done it, well, we're going to do it again because I think it's really important. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Farewell, everyone.